All right, how is everyone doing today, guys? We are back with a brand new video. I am very excited for this video because, once, it is not anime recommendations. No, it is not a rant either. This is the upcoming 2021 winter season of anime. And I am I'm very excited. If you guys can tell, we are on my anime list. That's where I do where I do all mine, where I kind of get all my info from. And you know, all that good stuff. We are going to be going right into the winter 2021 season. I'm very, very excited for all the animes that are be coming out this season. All the ones that are, you know, final season, second seasons, you know, third seasons, and new animes that are coming out. I think it's going to be a great year. And realistically, we need it after how bad 2020 was. Not not an anime standpoint. Anime, we did pretty good. But previous, you know, other than anime, everything has, you know, just been awful. We all know exactly what I mean there. And, you guys, you know, if you guys want to follow me on my anime list, just right up here in the corner, Van Store 7, I would love to see all you guys, you know, Go and follow me. You guys can recommend me some anime off of ones that I have seen. Maybe I can help recommend you guys some more. Maybe we'll do more anime recommendation videos. But that is not the point of today. Today is talking about the Winter 21 season. And we're just going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first anime on here, obviously we all already know about it. The final season of Attack on Titan. I am so excited for this anime. You guys already know that. It's going to be done by Mappa. Mappa. I, you guys know I'm never going to say any of these right. But I know it has a question mark by the number of episodes. I believe it's supposed to be like 24. I'm not 100% sure. You know, it comes on now December 7th. So you guys know what we're going to be watching that. And right next to it, oh, I'm so excited for this one as well. The second season of The Promised Neverland. I'm surprised we haven't actually gotten on who it's going to be, uh, who's going to be made by. I'm guessing it's probably going to be the same studio, who really knows. Also, we have no idea on the episode count for that. I believe it's also supposed to be about 12, maybe it's a 24, not 100% sure yet. But that is going to be coming out on January 8th. That one's, oh, I'm so excited for it. In this third one, that time I got reincarnated as a slime season two. Guys, I am so excited for this. One of my friends recommended this anime to me and he just was like joking and I like ended up watching it and I really enjoyed it and it's such a fun anime to watch. I definitely would highly recommend this one. Don't worry guys, that video is coming soon. Just, just be patient. It is also, you know, it's coming out on January 12th. We do not know the episode count. I'm guessing it's also going to be another 24 season kind of anime. And it was, it's was it been doing, it's going to be done by 8-Bit, which is a returner. Because, you know, they did the last one too. So I think that's going to be fun. And you you guys know we're, we're going to be watching this. The, the Dr. Stone, Stone War Season 2. Guys, this anime is so much fun. I... Was super excited about season one when it first came out. I watched like every episode as they were coming out. I recommended this to multiple of my friends and a lot of them ended up enjoying this too. So you know, it's probably going to be an anime recommendation video. Just be patient guys. It's going to be good. This season two is going to be so much fun. There's so much stuff that I'm looking forward for it. And you know, what can I say except it's just a great anime in general. And... I, I don't know this one. Uh, this, I'm not even going to attempt to say it because I know I'm going to butcher the name. But I have not seen it. If you guys think it's a good anime, please put it down in the comments below so that way I can go ahead and start watching it. Hopefully I'll have enough time before it comes out, even though it's coming out in January. So yeah, I'll probably have enough time if you guys want me to start watching it. And th this... Oh, this one's going to be so good. The Re-Zero. If you guys don't know, I have not, I am not caught up with this series. So I don't really know what's going to be happening. But I'm on season one. I'm literally on like the last episode. So I just got to catch up really quick. 
and then I can start watching this. And it comes out in January, so I have enough time. And you guys, I highly recommend it off of only watching like a set amount of episodes in the first season. So, highly recommend it. Go watch it. Guys, this one, I have such a love-hate relationship. The Beastars. It's really, it's good series. The animation's really good. It's kind of fun. It's kind of dark, too. It's really, like, if you kind of took, like, the drama kids from your high school, mixed them into animals, and then set it in a very weird kind of world, that's kind of what Beastars would be. It's not bad. I do, I am, I enjoyed it, so I'm definitely going to be watching the second season. But, you know, it's not for everyone, I will say. But, you know, if you think you're going to enjoy it, go watch the first season, and then watch this. This one, it's another one I have not started. It is The Log Horizon. I know this is, I believe, the third season for it. Let me double check that. Yes, the third season. I I don't really know. I've, it wasn't ever an anime that people told me I need to watch, so I just never did. If you guys think it's a great anime, or if you guys think I'll enjoy it, or if you enjoy it, put it down in the comments below. Make sure, maybe I'll go and watch it for you guys, just so we can, you know, get caught up. And you got, guys, you know, Cells at Work, it's so, you guys need to watch it. If, if you have not seen this anime, you need to go and watch it right now. It's going to be an anime recommendation video soon, I promise. This one is, I'm guessing this one's going to be just as fun as the first season. It's not like it has a whole lot of deep story to it, but it is a very fun anime. And you know, it just, it's, it's a good anime to watch. I would definitely... I'm going to be watching the second season, so I definitely think you guys should too. And you guys know, this one, oh, it's the final, is this the final season or is it just the fourth? It is the fourth season, which I'm not 100% sure if it's going to be the final season. But either way, Seven Deadly Sins, fourth season, it's going to be so much fun. I'm not a manga reader, but I do know what happens in the manga for what I think is going to be upcoming in this season so I am super excited for that there's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff that happens and you know it's just gonna be great overall and I hope the animation stays just as good as it can hopefully it doesn't flop like it has done sometimes in the past but I'm not really worried about that because I think it's gonna be a great season nonetheless and then we have another one Yuru Camp Season 2 once again, I haven't seen the first one. It, once again, it was just one that people didn't recommend to me, so I haven't watched it. But, you know, I, I'm i guessing it could be pretty decent if you guys like it or if you guys want me to watch it, you know, put it down in the comments below. I don't even need to say that anymore. You guys are already typing. And then we got, I'm guessing this is another Cells at Work. I'm not 100% sure. Um, if it's anything like the other Cells at Work, I'm guessing it's going to be fun as always. And then we have everything I think from here on out I have not seen. Uh, I don't know if all these are either upcoming or new animes or all that good stuff. But, you know, let's go ahead and just look through them. So, we got we have a slice of life romantic comedy. You know, it, it seems just kind of like a normal one. Uh, I have not heard anything about this. It was done by Cloverworks and, you know, I really like a lot of their stuff. So... Maybe I'll dive in and try this new one. You know, why not? Um, I'm not going to try to read that. But I ha I can see Isekai. So I'm guessing it's going to be like every other Isekai ever. Uh, Killed Bill Same as Stranger in a Traffic Collision. Wow. Never heard that one before. World of Magic. Da -da 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 -da. Experience, regrets, superior life retained. Da da da. Now gifted tremendous amount of magical power as well as the mind of a grown adult. Yeah, it's it's probably gonna be like every other East Sky ever. But you know, it maybe we'll try it. Who knows? This one I have heard about, I am actually very excited about. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but it seems super just kind of funny, and it's so I'm a spider, so what? Which the way that I was told about this is it was kind of like if you did that time it reincarnated as a slime and you turn it into a spider. So yes, it's another isekai. You can never get away from them. But it does seem kind of funny. It doesn't seem like it's going to be as 
like more about action and stuff. I think it's supposed to be like a pretty funny anime. Even though it is, yeah, adventure, comedy, fantasy, I'm going to be watching it for sure. And you know, it's it's definitely just going to be a good anime to watch. Then we have the World Trigger second season. I have heard so much about the World Trigger series and like the season before. It is on the list. I promise it's on the board somewhere over there. I, I know you can't see the board, so just like kind of trust me if you want. Um... But, you know, that one, if I can get the time to watch World Trigger before, I will watch that, too. Um, non non Bayori, non-stop. You know, don't know anything about this. It looks like it's just going to be kind of a fun, light-hearted anime, slice-of-life comedy scene. And, yeah, so that's pretty much, yeah. Um, we got another one here. I am not going to try to read that, but Redo of Healer. I don't really know what this is about. Healing magicians cannot fight alone. Okay, so I'm wondering if it's going to be a kind of different twist on instead of being the main character and it being a super action-packed like type of anime, it's going to be kind of maybe about the healer, which, you know, could be an interesting way to watch. I, ha I do see that it does, yes, have etchy and fantasy, so who knows? I honestly have no idea. But you never know. If you guys want me to watch it, you guys always know what to do. Um, alright, we got another one. The hidden dungeon only I can enter. No son of mobile, da 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 job offer which cancel before he can start his first day. He does not possess one he does possess one rare trait though, the magical ability to consult with a great sage. Even if using the skill gives him terrible headaches, unsure of what his future holds, he accesses the sage for advice on how to move forward, and is direct to a secret dungeon filled with rare beasts and magical items. It is here that Neuer, 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 however you want to say it, will train uh, compelling experience and wealth until he's powerful enough to change his fate. You know, it sounds kind of interesting. Nothing that I'm, like, too thrilled about. But, you know. Then we got the Bungo, Bungo Stray Dogs 1. I, I not, I'm probably not going to watch it. I'm not going to lie to you. I did watch uh, Bungo Stray Dogs. I'm on, like, the third season, like, the first part of it. I have enjoyed it. Not my favorite anime, I'm not going to lie. But it is pretty good. And then we have X-Arm. Once again, never heard of it. Uh, almost, da, 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 da. 12, it's, it's 12 episodes, and, you know, I, it probably will be just one that I throw on the list that, like, if I have the time, I might as well watch it, because, you know, why not? How many more do we got? We got, we got a quite a bit more. I wonder if they added to this list. I feel like they definitely did. Um, I don't want to bore you guys too much longer, so I'm just going to kind of, skim through these uh i'll let you know if there's any that i'm like i'm definitely going to watch so you know let me just i'll be right back unless you know who knows what will happen okay this one this is i have seen so much tiktok blew up on this anime and you know i'm probably just gonna have to watch it and it is the skate infinity it looks like it's just gonna be like a kind of cool uh, skater anime but the animation style on it is really cool and I really like it so that's probably going to be one that's going to be on the list for sure none that I'm seeing that are like really catching my eye at least for these you know if there's any that you guys are excited for or have heard about that you guys think will just be kind of fun to watch you always know where to put it and I will try to watch all of them I my if you can see the board back there, it's the list is huge, and it just keeps getting bigger by the day. We got a few unknowns, but, you know, nothing too crazy. But after all of that, guys, I'm excited for this upcoming season. I think that this season is what we all wanted the fall season to be, but since everything got pushed back, it's kind of where it's all landing. But you guys know, Attack on Titan Final Season's coming, 
second season of Promise Neverland, second season of Dr. Stone, second season of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, second season of Beastars, second season of Cells at Work, fourth season of Seven Deadly Sins, second season part two of ReZero. Guys, it's gonna be a great season. And I am so excited for everything that is coming out. If you guys are also excited, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe so you guys never miss a recommendation or anime or just fun video. And at the end of the day, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace. Stay weeby.